All right, so the reason I brought y'all out here today is I'm spot treating. We got weeds, right? Two months ago, I come out here, I laid everything down. My tank on the back of this Polaris, it spreads about a 14 foot spread. I can do about five, six passes through each field, lays everything down nice. We're gonna plant for deer about September 15th. That's 60 days before the frost. It's a good time and we'll get that seed in. We're gonna have a great deer season. Why am I telling you all this? What am I driving at? I titled it A Country Boy's Take on Afghanistan because I'm, I'm not from New York City. I'm not skilled in the art of war. This is just my take on the way I see things. The way I see things is, it's either best to just come out here and hit the hell out of them or just leave them alone and let them be completely wild, let it be thorns, let it be nasty. Because that's what property management is all about. There's weed, there's weed, there's weed. I manage it, but they're still gonna come back. Kind of like a terrorist, right? That's what terrorists do. Evil doesn't just go away just because you pull out. All right, we'll play nice now. We, we learned our lesson. <laughs> Every year, something's got to be done to keep them at bay. You know, I was reminded of about Matthew 13, 24 through 30. It's the parable of the wheat and the tares. A tear is a weed. It's what you don't want. They're saying, what do we do? We just, do we just burn the whole field? No, no, no. The master said, you're going to let everything grow up together the bad stuff and the good stuff, the weeds and the wheat. If you're from the heartland, you know about wheat. When the harvest comes, we're gonna burn all the weeds, all the tares. We're gonna burn them all, put them up in a bundle, and then harvest the good stuff. This video ain't about when we should have pulled out of Afghanistan. That ain't my business. That wasn't my call. But it's about an administration that seems to be utterly shocked that they done sprayed a field for 19 years and on the year 20, those weeds are back again. Shocker. Well, that's halfway around the world. What do I care about Afghanistan? Well, our troops care. They put about 20 years into that mission. Let me put it like this. Y'all ever owned a house before? And then later on, you sold it to somebody else. You drove by years later and the house is just completely trashed. The new owners trashed the yard. They got wood rock going on up there. Needs paint. You know, stuff that is going on that you would have never let happen if you still owned it. Well, now we've undone everything. And that's kind of what they're feeling. But nowadays, I guess if they want to call good evil and evil good, you're going to have a whole bunch of fields all across the world that won't get sprayed. You're going to be walking through a thorn field everywhere. Hell, you're walking through thorn fields now, ain't you? Y'all following me? A good friend of mine, uh, he ran special ops over in Afghanistan for about six years. He called me last night. What was it all for? Was it for nothing? I said, hell no. You kept evil at bay in one of the darkest places on the planet, you and your brothers and your sisters, for nearly 20 years. It was not for nothing, and don't you forget it. The big picture is we can only take care of our little plot, our little towns, our little communities. So spray the damn weeds wherever you find them. Either leave it alone and expect what you're gonna get, which is a freaking jungle, or keep what you, what you can manage at bay. Get people around you, good people around you to keep that stuff at bay as well. That's the only hand we have to play, all right? Spray your weeds.